we can learn a lot. I mean, we're learning our plays, we're learning our installs, we're learning the different techniques that we're doing and learning how to be a great teammate. How have you picked the brains of some of these vets out here? I mean, you've got guys who've been here for a while and know, know the system, right? Yeah, for sure. I mean, like we have a lot of great veterans in the room, a lot of great veterans outside outside the office and line room as well, you know? So Ashley has been good with rookie development. We've always had like a vet come in and talk to us and kind of explain to us some of the things about the NFL, how to be a great teammate, how to be a great person, how to do things in the community, how to take care of yourself on and off the field. So learning from everybody. Is the fit here what you kind of expected, you know, the type of growth that Grable is, but as a team right now, is it what you expected? It's one of the best cultures that I've ever experienced in sports in general. I mean, from high school to college to here, I've been blessed to have just the right coaches and the right culture every step of the way, and I'm grateful that I have an opportunity to be a part of a great culture and a great team. Technique-wise, how much different is it what they do here versus what you're used to, and what's that process? There's some similarities here and there, but I mean, like, we run off the ball here like crazy. Um, it's making sure that we have low pad levels, all the main things that you learn as an office alignment, but and overall, it's just making sure that we fine-tune things and making sure that we do techniques that work towards the scheme that we're running. The conversation about you coming in was maybe that your, your feet were great, but that your your punch maybe was, was something they want to work on. How much can you work on that? now with no contact and stuff or how much is it maybe mental talk about that and eagerness for camp you can work every single day i mean we have like something called the difference where you're shooting your hands out and you're trying to make sure that you have a great punch violent hands violent eyes whenever you're punching and things like that so that's not something that you do just during when you have pads on but it can be in the weight room it could be out here on the field we do a lot of different drills that work on our punches and work on our strikes you're making progress on that already for sure i'm sure you have a ton ton to learn feel like you have a ton to learn but what's your kind of level of fitting in like you come in and feel like hey I belong here or you come in and feel like wow this is a lot I just want to be the best teammate that I can and that says a lot and in a, in a small sentence you know what I mean like when saying you're a great teammate what that means to me is making sure you know what you know so the older guys know what you know or that the younger guys also know that you know what you're doing on the field so they can trust you and believe in you and then also being a great teammate off the field, making sure that I'm doing the things right for the team. I'm not going to put the team in jeopardy. And then also I'm going to do things that make myself more a part of the culture and a part of the team and be a part of Nashville in general. Are you connecting with guys off the field to kind of get familiarized with Nashville and you know some of the vets? Yeah, I actually got a chance for me to take some of the um, undrafted guys um, in the O-line room to a nice dinner. So we went to a nice little steak dinner. I wanted to pay uh, Fifth and Taylor. So it was a good, it was a great uh, steak dinner. We all had fun there, and um, you know, you know, we all enjoyed it. But those are kind of the things that we want to make sure we do that we interact with each other off the fields. So we can be great teammates and have a great family. How'd that bill get taken care of? <laughs> um, I paid it. You know, I mean, I was, you know, so like I was the one that had more money at the moment. But you know, I just wanted to take care of them. They've been so great to me. I've had great friends here, and I hope that they're friends that I make for a long time, not just during this um, rookie. Uh, mini, mini camp, OTAs, and you know, camp and things like that. All the undrafted. How big was the tab? Um, around like 800, 900. So I think that was like one of the first, like, big, big purchases that I made for like other people besides like me and my mom. You know, because I always just make sure I take care of my mom. Those guys <laughs> love you, Nick. Um, I got her like a pendant. So basically, it's a pendant. So it has a sapphire, and then I think zircone. I don't know. All I know is, is that it matches the colors of. One, the Tennessee Titans, the two-tone blue, and then also it's my mom's birth month and my birth month. So it just kind of works out how, like, I came here, matches the birth month colors of both me and my mom, and then also it's two-tone blue. It just was, it was a blessing to have the opportunity to get her a gift like that. Was it just the offensive undrafted guys you took out or on, on both sides of the ball you kind of took? everyone um offensive line and then i took also one on defensive line too i took him haskell so yeah oh, okay. yeah